Hello guys, it's Denise here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to improve my summer car performance by simply increasing our FPS aka in frames per second. And I will leave my computer specifications in the description down below. I know I've done this video before about 4 months ago. I just need to improve the quality and the editing of the video. So without further ado, let's get straight into our video. So first of all, if you already start my summer car, all you gotta have to do is to put, put I mean, change your graphics quality to shitty no vertical sync. I mean, don't call it V sync, okay? Call this thing vertical sync. Now, um, let's get. I mean, this is the only first step. It's very simple because you just open my summer car in Steam or crack. I don't owl oh, crack, sorry. Uh, in crack or uh, it's from Steam, just um, I'll just change the graphics quality. That's the easiest thing ever. Okay, so the, probably the next step you may need to uh, open my summer car um, from the in-game itself, like continuing, continuing the game, not new game, you or else you will lost your save game. Just wait like a little bit. Um, mine actually take long because I have mods installed, but it's only three mods. I think it doesn't per affect the performance. <laughs> Okay, so um, you may get spoiled for um, for my uh, other episode here, guys. Um, this is my last episode of my summer car. Um, just check it out. It's actually on uh, on the uh, top uh, right. Yes, should be around there. Um, and uh, I'm getting 80 FPS because I just set the uh, quality to shitty. And uh, anyways, my uh, graphics card is GTX 1650 Super. But this game relies on CPU like a lot, so my CPU is around is actually uh, i3 4170T. So um, yeah, probably a huge bottleneck there, I guess. So um, go so um, um, just post the game or just press Escape or F1 on your keyboard and go to graphics. Now disable like all of these. Yes, or uh, just leave Bloom alone there because uh, or uh, reflections. I mean, just leave Bloom because uh, Bloom doesn't even affect your FPS that much, and um, I think the rest of this is disabled. But I think, in my opinion, car mirrors actually have helped me like a lot. But the car mirrors just, you know, so the interface doesn't even affect your FPS that much. So um, I think we just get up to leave car mirrors there and uh, our draw distance too because it doesn't affect affect your performance, as well as the depth of view. Once you disable one of those, and I get almost like, oh, I was expecting to reach 100. Uh, maybe if I stop recording, I should get like around 100. As if I'm recording in 1080p with max quality preset. Oh, there you go. I'm getting 100 FPS. Oh boy. Can we get an F in the comments because this guy got ran over uh, by a drunk uh, bus driver because he just uh drink some or get a shop some a lot of vodka like me and then uh, ended up driving the bus drunk and then he ran off by this poor guy oh can we get an F in the comments anyways moving to our next step so the next step is we're gonna install the uh, the mod that actually optimizes my summer car I mean what is that if you guys wondering I mean if you guys didn't know my summer car is actually not optimized by the developer because there's only one developer who is making my summer car. You know, this is appreciated so uh, creativity in that game. Like seriously, that's the reason why you should buy my summer my summer car though. It's only like 15 bucks though. So, anyways, just install our mod. I mean, what is that? Just uh, you will find out. Just open Chrome. I mean, this might take a while. Alright, so um, here um, in the search bar, search for mod loader, or you can I can leave this thing like in the description down below. Alright, so it should be here. What I recommend it should be in the GitHub.com, not not on Nexus mods, not on race departments. Instead, GitHub.com. I'll leave this thing in the description down below, and select the newest version, which is on the top. You know. And the last update is April 8th, but let's, uh, alright, so here's go, I mean, uh, just, uh, click on this MSC loader full package that zip. Now, it will tell you, uh, any, anything, what, what do you want to download, I mean, to, uh, uh, where, 
what play I mean what folder should, should we put I think I think I recommend desktop I mean probably some of you will probably uh, download automatically in the uh, downloads folder so I think you may uh, just leave it on the downloads folder so I think um, just uh, minimize scroll up and put this thing here oh it's already there my bad and then don't close chrome yet we have uh, we still have the next step so um let's go to race department.com i mean race department my summer car mods and it should be here and i'll leave the, the link in the description down below or maybe not because uh, we gotta have to find a mod first so um i think i'm not liked it but um that's fine we can just lock in you know what i mean all right so um let's uh type mop here uh that's mop what oh there we go M modern optimization plugin i'll leave this link in description down below yes this the link in description down below okay oh okay yeah yeah uh, yeah oh crap i think uh i think um i just locked out oh boy i think i need to log in Alright, I think I'm already logged in. I think you need to create an account and make sure to verify your email to make your account work in racedepartment.com. Okay, so here's we got the uh, modern optimization plugin 12 2.12.2 is the latest version now. And um, you might be watching this video for about like three months, you know, or one day, and, uh, and then modern optimization plugin is updated. And then just 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 download the uh, latest version still, you know. So I guess we're gonna download that up, and then um, you can drag whatever what you want. I think I can, let's just put it in the desktop, you know. That will be a lot better because um, I don't I, I don't I I am I'm too lazy to open the folders. All right, let's put it in the desktop. Now I think you don't need Chrome anymore. Let's just close that bad boy. Now let's go to MSC Loader. Now let's just of course open that up now you, you may want to create a new folder called my summer car there we go now drag all of those inside there there we go just like that now you may need to open msepatcher.exe now let's go to uh msc folder now you may need to locate where is your my summer car folder so if you don't if you um, own my summer car on steam and go ahead and right open your steam and then right click on my summer car go to um manage and then browse local oh all right so um right click and manage and browse local files just like that now it will open the files of this thing now just uh right click on that and copy address as text now we may need to paste that up now hit enter now just like that now double click in my summer car that exe and also I forgot to say that this thing actually doesn't work in uh, pirated I mean yes it does work in pirated but it will just act like it's working to be honest like that is the trick of this thing alright so um I already installed MSC Loader here. All you have to do is to uh, put the uh, MSC Game folder. Just click that, and then click on Install MSC Loader. Just like that, and then feel free to X this thing because you don't need it. All right, so don't close the folder yet. We gotta have to do something here first. I'll go to the Mods folder. It should be created there automatically by the Mod Loader. Double click on the MOP dot zip. That you just downloaded from racedepartment.com. Now all you have to do is to paste mop.dll here at the mods folder from my summer car. Now it's already here, so I guess I guess I gotta have to replace that thing. So uh, yeah. Now I think you're pretty much finished. Now go ahead install. I mean, now go ahead open my summer car. Now play the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this might take a while. Because it's actually mod loader. I mean, mod loader. I think um, modern optimization plugin has a delay, kind of delay, you know, just to wait. 
and as you guys can see probably your FPS is increased to 100 I mean yes it's supposed to be 100 because uh, it's already installed now go ahead I mean we're not finished yet guys and go ahead uh, post the game go to mod settings uh, go to modern optimization plugin put the active distance to close now disable it. make sure the frame rate limiter is disabled as well as the safe mode but if you guys see some bugs in the game before that you haven't seen yet since you're since you already installed the mop mod then go ahead click check in the safe mode now also um make sure adjust shadows is actually turned off running background should be turned on dynamic draw distance should be turned off okay or it's up to you i guess we're gonna need to turn that up yes i uh i think that's a big la big ass lag spike though i think uh if we disable that do we have more frame rate oh yeah so i think i don't recommend dynamic draw distance i mean i think it will work on integrated gpus such as intel hd 530 or 610 you know yeah those are inter integrated uh, graphics cards I don't think that's a graphics card. I, I I don't know. So make sure the rule files and verify rule files files by by check you know. And auto update frequently. It's up to you. on restart on your computer or every day or every two days or weekly. So I guess we get to put that up to uh daily and then let's force try force in um uh and I mean in uh, only works in main menu. And also make sure both of these are this are on a uh, check. So if you guys don't know what this thing means, just uh, read this thing, okay? Just, okay, just please read it, okay? Okay? Okay. So I guess this is it for today's video. Please consider subscribing if you already like the video. It, it actually helps, it helps me a lot to make videos like this. And uh, I'll see you guys on my next video. Take care.